So what adjustments did you guys make from first half to second half? And was there a message at halftime that was given that helped you guys spark what you did? Well, just being able to uh, focus on the little details. Uh, there was some days that uh, our eyes were bad and we just needed to fix those. Um, so it was just being able to, to be able to do our job at the best of our ability and be able to be at the right gap at the right time. So. Similarly, you guys had a bunch of penalties in the first half, like 80 for 80 or something like that. Uh, cut, up, cut down on them in the second half. Just what was the message about that? Uh, uh, those things we need to eliminate. Um, I think we did a, a better job coming in the second half, uh, responding to, to the penalties. Uh, but overall, these guys came out of play, and you know, we need to avoid those. Uh, we're going to be ready for next weekend. So what are the challenges that you know, USF's offensive offense brought to you guys? That's a good offense. Uh, we'll give credit to them. They can run the ball. They go tempo, and that's a hard thing to stop. Uh, being able to run tempo at a uh, at a really good pace and be able to be consistent with it, it's it's, it's hard. So uh, those were one of the challenges. Uh, and just being able to keep him in a, keep him in a pocket because you know he becomes dangerous when he get out of pocket using his legs. So those were a lot of things that we worked out the whole week practicing and being able to get ready for for, for USF today. Was there an awareness uh, twice in the second quarter when you guys were losing? It's the first time this year when you guys put down in the game. Uh, was there an awareness of that on the sideline? Um, adversity always strikes, and you know you just gotta keep calm and be able to you know, play play the game. You, you know you play this this game for the rest of your life, and it's another adversity and it's another challenge to be able to overcome. And I think these guys came out with the same mentality that they dominant every single play, and you know that's my hurricane football right there. Kiko, what have you guys learned about this team through four games that you guys had in the conference play? These guys are, are always on the urge to you know to dominate. Um, they have the same mindset from the beginning to the end. Always always looking forward to you know play um, at the best of their ability, be able to dominate uh, on the line of scrimmage. Um, I bet I get credit to, to the D line. These guys came out of play. You know tempo, be able to rush and, and run to the ball. It's, it's it's nothing easy. So I get credit to those guys because without those guys, we wouldn't be able to have the success we have. Kiko, last year you guys you guys started off four and were off to a really good start. Things didn't end the way you would have liked. Um, what do you think maybe is different about this year's team, whether it's on the field, whether it's mentality or work ethic or anything, what do you think is different about this year's team? Everybody's together. Um, I think this team is, is very connected, uh, very good uh, atmosphere to be in, uh, always always, uh, you know, always around each other. And that's what creates the bond between us because you know, we love what, we, we love each other so hard that you know, we translate on the field. So, With the non-conference schedule behind you, how eager are you looking forward to playing the conference schedule, knowing that you know it could be a challenging year? You know, anytime you're in the ACC. Oh yes, um, you know that script will we'll focus on that tomorrow. Um, we'll be able to get on the board, um, correct our mistakes today, and be able to focus on that for for, for, for Friday. So, so we're ready. Throughout the first couple of weeks of the season, you and your brother have just absolutely dominated. Can you talk about being able, despite uh, playing? Different sides of all being able to support each other throughout the games. Yes, I mean, you know, we've we've been doing this our whole life. We've been playing playing to, together our whole life, and you know, when practice, it all translates to game day. Uh, be able to encourage each other, uh, watching film together, and just correcting each other when you know when mistakes happen, and you know, it translates to the game. I know he'll dominate, and you know, I'll try my best to do my job, and I trust him with all all my heart that he'll do his job. So, yeah. Let's get you more we were you were everywhere tonight having 11 total tackles. And what was it like playing a defense like that? Where, I mean, an offense like that where it's up tempo, no huddle. What was your message to the defense to just stay, like, not letting off the gas because you can let off the gas? I mean, these guys are hungry. Uh, these guys are hungry every single play they get up to the ball. So we practice, we, you know, we practice this, this tempo um, and throughout the whole week. And, you know, those, those come to life uh, when, we, when we play our game. So, just being able to be around the ball, you know, have a feel for the ball and all the film study that pays off. So, yeah. All right, great. Thanks, Kiko. Thank you.